Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. Right now, right this moment, there are Americans who are alive and who are healthy who will be dead by the fall. And there are Americans who already died who did not have to, all because of the failures of our government and more specifically, the president of the United States. There is no other conclusion you can reach at this point. We've lost every last charitable explanation of the failures, that the disease itself is challenging, which it is, that it's hard to fight, which it is, that it's torn through all different kinds of countries with all different kinds of cultures and governments and institutions. At this point, there's nothing left to say but that Donald Trump has gotten Americans killed and is going to get even more Americans killed in unfathomable numbers. When the pandemic started, I warned on this show, as did everyone we talked to, that the president could not just wish the virus away as much as he wanted to or tried to. Now, the virus that we're talking about having to do, you know, a lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat. Because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. When you have 15 people, and the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero, it's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Yeah. You have to be calm. It'll go away. That was inexcusable, egregious, impossibly stupid, and it led to the horrible response we have had to this virus. We didn't test enough. We didn't prepare. But to do it again, almost word for word, action for action, 130,000 deaths later, well, that's horrific. I think we're going to be very good with the coronavirus. I think that at some point uh, that's going to sort of just disappear, I hope. You still believe so? Disappear? Well, I do. I do. Yeah, sure. At some point. And I think we're going to have a vaccine very soon, too. That was today. That was July 1st, 2020. When I saw it reported, I was absolutely positive it was an old clip. As I said before, the president does not learn, and his incompetence and his negligence is getting Americans killed, which is why every day that goes by without his resignation, Americans' health, safety, and lives are increasingly threatened. But it is not just him. Vice President Mike Head Pence, the head of the coronavirus task force, has been basically doing the same thing. Two weeks ago, as the virus was spreading across the country, raging through the Sun Belt, he was bragging about how there was no second wave, which, to be fair, technically there still isn't because we never got out of the first wave, and bragging about how daily new cases had stabilized at 20,000. That was the number he was going to, hey, look, 20,000, everybody, and that the media was to blame for fear-mongering and trying to scare the American people. And so we are now at the worst-case scenario. The president got bored of the virus, and he got tired of lockdowns, and he pressured and even bullied governors to reopen prematurely against his own CDC guidelines because he wanted people to get out there like warriors, to get the economy restarted so that he could be reelected. But just like we warned night after night, if you do not take the virus seriously, then you run the risk of neither defeating the pandemic nor getting the economy back. And that is precisely what is happening right now. 